Assalamu alaikum. First of all, I would like to welcome you all to this session. I'm Meetha Al Naimi, a GIS specialist. MashaAllah, he said everything about me, so you know me already, I think. So uh, I'll give you a brief about uh, what is the bar municipality is doing GIS center speci specially uh, in updating the base map or in contributing on the smart city or moving Dubai into a smart city. So let me give you a brief about Dubai Municipality. Uh, we have a GIS center in Dubai Municipality. It is the one responsible uh, uh, for the geospatial data in the Emirates. So we are in Dubai Municipality, but we, we handle the whole geospatial data of Dubai. Of Dubai. Okay, so uh, in Dubai Municipality, we have announced uh, an initiative which is called Geo Dubai. Geo Dubai is an initiative that uh, that gives you a, an access to all the spatial data in uh, Dubai. You can have access to training softwares uh, for uh, technologies, consultations, and a lot more. In, in Geo Dubai, the the, the main objective is to have an up-to-date base map, which is my topic today, how, how we reach to the up-to-date base map and what technology we're using. First of all, uh, uh, we, we, we use a lot of field data capture uh, technologies. One of them is the mobile mapping we bought from Trimple, of course. Uh, it produces a high density point cloud and a panoramic uh, view of the city, which is videos. I think when, if, you, if, you, if, you can, if you had a chance to see the uh, Trimple uh, outside, the, the, they, are, they, they were showing one of, they're showing actually our car, the Lexus car with the point cloud uh, device. I have a look after my presentation or in the break. So another technology we're using, as he said, I'm the first Emirati drone pilot. So we're using drones to, to provide high resolution imagery and uh, DTM, DCM data. And we are also getting some point cloud driven data from the imagery. And uh, we, we're extracting also some NDVI. This is, and, and, and also in the future, we're planning to add the LiDAR devices in our drone to get more, more information. So what are we doing to, to reach the resilience and survey ground control point? We have worked with the survey department to change the way the GFCP pattern. So we have used the 60 centimeters uh, radius instead of the old one, and we have changed it into uh, a gradient color to make it easier for us. We have uh, reached up to 25% uh, of the whole more than 10,000 ground control point that we have. And we're using also DVRS for some of our devices for the car. So what we are doing right now, we're using the drone data and the data driven from the car, both of them is point cloud. We're trying to combine them to reach to a combined mobile mapping and drone data and a base map model. So we have the, the base map not only into 2D, we have it modeled in 3D too. Uh, of course, GISC, doesn't stop in one phase. We, we're always looking for the future, and AI is, uh, everyone is speaking about AI right now. So what we're doing right now is, uh, we have a project actually in base map update. From that project, uh, it's using the, the regular technologies to extract the features. So from this project, we have uh, got the dictionary of data. We are now using this dictionary to build an algorithm that can extract those data from the AI mod from the uh, dictionary through the AI model. So we will be able to automatically extract the base map features or assets of, of the city using the model and then transform it into a vector data which will allow us to have a base map. Also, we are moving toward the 3D base map uh, city of the city. So in order to reach that level, we have a 3D strategy. It was built with one of the international uh, 
uh, authorities in the world, which is uh, Ordnance Survey. Uh, we have built a, a strategy for the 3D vision of Dubai. The strategy focuses on uh, four aspects. The major aspects are data and technology. And uh, as, uh, as he said, we have announced in last Cityscape the, du the Dubai BIM, which was uh, done uh, for the up upper ground buildings or uh, uh, data or features. Uh, and we have already using, we're, we're already using one of system was built in-house, which is Inshaat for the utilities underground. So if you, if you can imagine, we're thinking about underground and above the ground, and not only the regular standards, where, you, where we're trying to reach up to worldwide standards, such as BIM and others. So uh, for the legacy buildings, of course, the BIM will give us the uh, information of, of all the details of the building, but not for the old buildings. For the, so for the legacy building where we have used the indoor Thames product, it is a product from Trimble. It can scan the indoor uh, detail of it, it can scan the indoor building and give us a 3D model of it. Uh, it provides a point cloud. If you can see here, this is the the outcome of the product, and we process it then and, gi and it gives us a 3D of the building inside. This was uh, firstly introduced in Jitex last before two weeks, and it was the first one to, we, that we have it in the UAE and in the region. Uh, of course. Everyone now speaks about autonomous car, and of course, geospatial data is important. Uh, the, the, the detailed or the high density maps is important in, in order to make this happen. Of course, we need the full 5G. I, I can't see the Etisalat guy. 5G. Of course, we need the 5G, but GIS data is important too. So this is what we are doing right now. We are trying to provide the first autonomous car that can uh, uh, be driven in Dubai ca that can capture the data and process it to, uh, to help the car move around the city. It was, uh, I hope you have uh, visited us in Jitex this year because it was presented in Jitex as a POC and we're still developing the, the equipment. Yes, I'm fast when I present because I know all of you is <laughs> running a, a uh, out of time, so I'm trying to be brief a little bit and give you some of the details. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, you are more than welcome to join our community in Dubai to explore the data and get access to it. So thank you.